What's good, YouTube? It's your buddy Ball. I'm back with another reaction, man. Today, we got Cam Wilder explains him and Marie break up. Now, I watched a little bit on TikTok. I didn't want to watch it fully through because it just about to be a good reaction. You get what I'm saying? This is a 33-minute video. Um, I want to see what Cam got to say about the whole situation. Now, Marie has been on... Uh, I think I seen a clip. She was on TikTok talking about Cam and about the whole uh, child situation and how he didn't want to be a dad and then how he left a relationship and all this stuff. So we about to see what Cam got to say. It's been a minute. He ain't he, uh, talk about anything uh, since, you know, well, at all. He hasn't talked about nothing at all. She just been doing it. But I, I don't know. I haven't seen nothing new about what she said. But um, we on the road to a thousand. Make sure y'all hit that sub button. Um, appreciate y'all. Make sure I watch this fully through. We gotta get them watch hours up. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get monetized. Yeah, let's get into it. I've been getting called uh, 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 a deadbeat. You're lame as shit. You're whack as fuck because somebody has been only talking about me the past thirty days. Okay. Now, I know you guys are sitting here wondering, why do you have baby shoes on your counter? Okay. I'm about to be a dad. Damn. I mean, we already knew that. I'm about to be a dad, ladies and gentlemen. That's good. Congrats, bro. I'm about to be a dad. Um... Where are those Crocs? Exciting news. No, those easy. Very exciting news. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to be a dad. But for some reason, somebody's making it seem like I'm not trying to be excited to be a dad. And uh, now, listen, I'm not here to disrespect anybody. Okay. I'm not here to disrespect anybody. You're, you hear me? I'm not here to disrespect anybody. I'm just going to tell the truth. I hope you expose it all. All bro. I'm going to do is tell the truth. I want to hear it. Now, as you guys know, the person that I am having a child with, we're no longer together, by the way. We're no longer in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And it's just like that. Okay. Um, But for some reason, this person said uh, that the reason I broke up with her is because she's pregnant. Damn. That's what she's telling people. Is that Basically, the reason yeah. I broke up with her is because she's pregnant. That's what I thought. We broke up about a month ago, and, and she was about 32 weeks. Mm. She was about 32 weeks, y'all. That's yeah. That motherfucker, that motherfucker like these, nigga. Yeah. That motherfucker like these. Damn. Um guys, the baby's due in two weeks. Oh shit. The Wait, what's today? Doing two weeks, ladies and gentlemen. This this live happened last night, so two weeks. It's the eighteenth right now. So what, November first or something like that? I don't know how to do math. Either October thirtieth. That motherfucker will be out in two weeks. Um. <clears throat> So I was told that I broke up with her because she's pregnant. Why do y'all think I moved into this fat ass house? I was wondering why. With bedrooms. Sure. To prepare for a family. Okay. That's the only logical reason why I moved from an apartment to a big ass house to prepare for a family. That house probably is big as shit. That that uh that RWE checks, them motherfuckers in. I'm already knowing. Huh. I'm already know hey, hey, co uh co coach Cam. If you listen to me, I love basketball. You know what I'm saying? I, I tore my knee in middle school playing kickball, and I can't hoop again. Well, I, I hoop a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But my knee is dislocated. You know what I'm saying? I have, I have a bad knee. What can you do for me where I could still be a part of basketball? Maybe, maybe I be a coach, you know what I'm saying, assistant coach, get the team hype, probably shake some ass or something. You know what I'm saying? I'll be quiet. Come on. But I broke up with you because you're pregnant. That's the type of reputation you're trying to spread on the internet about me. By the way, I have waited 30 days. I stayed quiet about so much shit, and y'all were hitting me up. Is this true? Is this true? All right. Now, oh, let's shit. move on. So she, she said 
She said that I'm not a. Uh, she said that I'm not um excited to be a father. She said that I'm not excited to be a father, ladies and gentlemen. So let me go ahead and show you a couple things that uh, went down um, already. Uh, already. Um, so she announced that she was pregnant. Okay. Now, for, for the reason I'm upset about that is because I don't like my personal life on the internet. I don't talk to you guys about my personal life. Nah, yeah, when I see that, I'm I like, dang. I don't talk to you guys about my personal life. I don't like it. I keep it content only. Right, I keep it content only. I don't like to tell you guys about that kind of stuff. Um, and when we were together, we told each other we were not gonna announce that we had a kid until he was born. Yes, he. Ooh. We're having a boy. Okay. He. That's tough. Um, Him and Lavar. Okay. We were not gonna announce until he was born. But obviously, when we broke up, someone was looking for attention and posted like this. Damn. Posted it ASAP. Get that and the reason I never spoke on it is because I don't like talking about my personal business. Like I, I have, I, there's no reason to be. Now, I'm gonna give y'all my true. I don't want to pause too much. I'm actually gonna sit here and watch a lot of it and like see what he got to say. I will give him my two cents. I don't think he's lying about anything for real. For real, there's no reason to lie. But I'm gonna give y'all the truth of what she's doing. Like, 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 or not truth, but what I think she's doing certain shit for. I be talking like. about it. Like, I like, I'm just going to put my two cents in. Shit. You get what I'm saying? Um, so about a week goes by and she, you know, this person's talking bad about me. And my, somebody, one of my people's reached out. My dad reached out and was like, hey, why are you saying this, this, and this about him? Like, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying Don't to keep dead. no contact, like no contact, none of that. I'm like... You know, why are you saying these things about him? And she said, as a father who is supposed to be excited, why has he not notified or responded to me posting that we're having a baby? So obviously you want attention. You want attention. Okay. It's quite clearly. It's quite clear that she wants attention. Okay. Why is the first thing you say, why haven't you gone to the internet and said anything? Obviously you want attention. So let's go ahead and show things that she hasn't shown yet. Let's go ahead and show some things that she has not shown yet. Um, Wait, but I'm confused. So, Didn't they agree on not posting nothing until the baby was born, though? So why did she go out and say she was pregnant and post it? That's crazy. Oh, I'm not excited to be a father, right? Let's go ahead and show some gender reveal pictures, huh? Something that has not touched surface the internet yet. Let's go ahead and show some gender reveal pictures, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, damn, look at our faces, look at our faces, damn, yeah. but, she but is. I'm not excited to be a father, right? Happy as a motherfucker, but I'm not excited, teeth and palms, I'm trying to tell you, but I'm not excited, why, why was this never shown, right? Why was this never shown? Look at this. Another one. Mm. You look happy to me. Look at this. Happy father right there. Damn. He look happy as a motherfucker. Let's move on. Let's move on because that's quite obviously not it. You guys, no. You guys are in for a treat. And don't call me messy. Because she's been talking about me for 30 days straight because she has nothing but time. Nothing but time. So don't call me messy. I'm speaking my truth. That's what I'm doing. All right, look. So when we separated, right, broke up. Listen, people break up, y'all. Shit happens. Just because we broke up doesn't mean we can be parents. Do you guys agree? Yes or no? Can we agree on that? I think he said that wrong. Yes or no? Just because we are not in a relationship doesn't mean we can't be parents. Oh, just because, like, like we could be separated and still. I have parents. two okay. very, very close friends, very close friends, who have been dealing with that their whole life. Separated parents, and it worked out perfectly. Great relationships with both parents. It can work, mm -hmm. but this person is not trying to let that happen. Let me keep going. So she was on live <sighs> claiming that she left all her Damn. belongings here, and she doesn't think she's gonna get it back. Yeah, that's because you left it. Guys, when we separated and she decided to up and leave, mind you, she chose to leave. She she upped and left. 
mm. for the Ravens game. This was against the Raiders. So however long this was, against the Raiders, she up and dipped. I mean, she left everything. She left Damn, how your phone lag? I'm gonna get it back. Now, mind you, previous breakups, I've bought her a U-Haul every single time, so she was able to get her shit. I've helped her out. Oh, hell no. whoop -de -woo. But she claims she left her shit. Another thing she's been trying to push is that she has nothing. That I broke up with her, I left her high and dry, left her with nothing, Damn. right? And then she had to start from the jump. Cat. I already knew that was okay. bad. So let's go ahead and walk around my house, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. Um, let's go ahead and walk around my house real quick just to show you guys what the fuck we got going on. Um, let's walk around the house. So again, like I said, I was told that I left her high and dry. You get what I'm saying? I left her with nothing. She, you know what I'm saying? I've left, you know, no money, whoop de woo all this other shit. So right here is a bassinet. For the baby. Right here is a bassinet. We got, you know, easy slides, all kind of shit in here, y'all. Here's a bassinet. We got the rocking chair. We got a, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 a, a tub, tub for the baby so tub. the baby can get, you know, showered and shit. Here's the crib. Everything's here. Here's the crib. You know, we got all this extra shit. So I, and I know, and I know they had a baby shower. So I know damn well they got a lot of shit. I know damn well, bro, baby showers, they spoil, like, not spoil, but they give them mad shit for baby showers, bro. And it's a good thing. I hope he ain't had no goddamn Burberry shorts on the whole fit. I hope. I hope. But that was just a gender reveal. Wait, baby shower and gender reveal, that's two different things, right? I think. But I know. Probably, probably the uh, gender reveal, they probably gave them shit, too, uh, there, too. So I know damn well she cabin about not getting nothing. Come on. Shit, you know, Come on. gifts and stuff like that. Things of that nature. Guys, I literally, we literally, me and my family offered to give her these things. Offered. Hey, we'll ship it to you. We'll get you a U-Haul so you can drive it. Didn't want it. I left her high and dry. Guys, That's I crazy. offered her my car. Guys, ever since we've been in a relationship, two and a half, three years, I've taken care of her completely. Oh, I'm already known. Her. Straight bread. And better so than me though. She was driving my car, my Kia. Kia K5 2022. She was driving it for the entire time. I offered her my car when we broke up. I said, you can have the car. I said, you can have it. I said, look. Damn. I don't need it. You've been driving it. It's paid off. All you gotta do is just get the title and registration. She declined it. Oh, sh she declined it. I ought to shrug my shoulders. Didn't okay. She said, no, I need something newer and better. You lost your motherfucking mind if you think, bitch. You know what? See, this is what I'll be saying. Look, that's why when I get up there and it's going to be so hard to find a girl that's for you because you don't know if they want you for the bread or they really like you, bro. Apparently, I guess she liked them. Cause they've been together for years, but now is the the from YouTube checks. She got too comfortable. That that's the problem. She got too comfortable, Cam, and that's what I'm a fault you at. I'm a, I'm a I'm a fault you at Cam because she got too comfortable. Cam, if you're watching this video, watch it fully through and listen to what I'm gonna say to you. She got too comfortable. She got in her head, oh yeah, he going he gonna get me pregnant. Uh I'm gonna get child support off him. But now since you broke up with her, this house gonna be. Oh, you wanna break up with me now? Alright, best. Say no more. Now I'm gonna get child support off you. And I want a new car. And you probably gonna have to buy her motherfucking ass more baby shit. You get what I'm saying? Now it's like, oh, now I need money for the son. Now, now you're not going to give me bread for the son? All right, now I'm going to take you to court to get more bread. Now I'm forcing you to get more bread. It's going to be crazy, bro. Good luck. Well, how are you going to get that? It's crazy. Well, how are you going to get that? It's getting out of hand. So don't sit here and say that, you know what I'm saying, I left you with nothing and you're declining all the stuff that we're trying to give you. Another thing she claims she doesn't have is baby shit. 
That is that's baby stuff right there. Baby shit. Let's keep walking. Oh shit. Let's keep walking, ladies and gentlemen. Let's show oh, the crib shit. a little bit. Let's show the crib a little bit. Um. So look. I'm already knowing. So right here, we got, you know, this is a stroller turned into a car seat. Car seat. It's both. Stroller turned into a car seat. Uh, I'm not too familiar. This. What's I'm not that? too familiar with this is. This is like a play how play thing kind of thing. Um, here's some books. Oh, stuff got a like whole that. Gucci bag. And you guys are probably wondering, what is this Gucci bag doing here? What is this Gucci bag doing here? That's the first thing I noticed. Empty. empty. So, um, yeah. So while we're in a relationship, ladies and gentlemen, um, my parents, my family was so kind to give us a gen, you know, a, a baby shower and, you know, give us so much shit. I'm already I known. I back from Baltimore and I look at my Gucci bag, and the Gucci bag is empty. Oh? The Gucci bag's empty. <laughs> I'm like, we're inside what was the in Gucci there? bag was a $2,500 Gucci diaper bag. Oh, you lost your motherfucking mind. You done lost your damn mind. If you go, if you, there's no way you took the diaper bag, and that's all you took. There, there's no way. I, he better not say all she took was the was the Gucci bag that my that my family paid for, and you go go on the internet and say you don't got shit. Yeah, you got to see me in court. I'm I don't give a fuck about being a bigger man. Trust me. I promise you. I would have shut that whole shit down when she first was talking about me. You get what I'm saying, Cam? Look, Cam, you gotta be on it. And you know, I don't know if you know, but the women out here. And, you, and they see you got bread, they're going to take advantage of that shit and make you pay for more shit that needs to be paid for, bro. So now it's like you got paid child support. But hopefully you don't really have to if you're taking care of the child. So I don't I don't really know how child support works. I just know, like, like I know how it works, but I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Like, say if the child is seeing both of y'all. Say the child is commuting to the mom and dad. Normally, child support is when the the child is only really mainly with one parent. I believe that's how child support works. But hopefully, she don't try and put you on that shit. $2,500 Gucci diaper bag, right? Mind you, she left all this shit here. But the Gucci diaper bag's gone, right? Saying she ain't got shit, right? Please don't. She Why took is the Gucci diaper bag gone? Nigga, the diapers is still here. Oh. What the fuck the diapers still doing here? Yeah. Yeah. She lost her Bruh. motherfucking mind. Do you see how many diapers we got? Nigga, this pimp is out the ass. And mind but you. The Gucci diaper bag is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody gonna have to see Marie. I ain't gonna lie. Not kill her, but you know what I'm saying? Whoop her motherfucking ass or something. That's crazy. Let's move on. That's crazy. What? I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm not. I'm only about halfway. That's crazy. She was going to have to see me. I would have I got my, my aunt something. Um, another thing she was doing. Another thing that this person was doing um, recently, she is completely and utterly begging for money. Oh, I was already known. Utterly, completely begging for money. She don't work? She has made four different posts, and in every single live, she is saying, send, bro, she, she asked if 5,000 people send me $1, what? I can pay for my rent and... I can furnish my apartment for my unborn baby. Yeah, nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. You're begging for money. Nigga, for all my people out there, bro, her money scheme, her money scheme is worse than Forex, my nigga. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> her money scheme is worse than Forex. And here's why. Bro, she was on live on God. She was on live and she said $50. If someone cash at me $50, I'll tell you why we broke up. Oh. Are you that desperate? $50? $50, that's it? Nigga. 
Bro, bro, not but That's two crazy. weeks before we split, I sent her five thousand dollars for her birthday. Nope, nope. That's your cam. I'm hearing you, Cam. Cam, trust me. I'm listening. I hear you, Cam, but you got her too comfortable, bro. She got too comfortable. Oh, he got the money. He gone. I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> if you want to go somewhere, you pay for it. Simple as that. You want to go to Albuquerque, Disney World. With me, I'll pay for it. But if you going with your friends and all that, you pay for that shit. That, that's me. Not, but two weeks but, before we broke up, I sent her $5,000 for her birthday. And I paid for crazy. her trip, her birthday trip to Mexico. Where'd the money go? Nope. And don't think this was the only time I was sending her money. Oh, I know. This nigga ate off me. You ain't this know that? Was not the only time. Not even a little bit. I'm already known. <sighs> Guys. That's your fault, but that's still crazy. Mm. It's the capping, bro. That that's the only thing I'm mad about. Let's keep going. That she can't. Let's keep going. That's crazy. Let's keep going. So, you know, throughout the 30 days of her talking and shit like that, talking about me, I stayed quiet. I stayed quiet. I stayed off the internet. No matter how many deadbeat comments I got, no matter how many. All this shit. No, I really did think All Cam was going to be a deadbeat. She claims I'm not an, I, I didn't want to be a father. She texted me one day, and she was like, hey, are you awake? Let's talk. I know what that means. <laughs> I know what that means. So you know what I responded with? I said, look, my phone opened 24-7 to talk about the baby. 24-7 about the baby. 100%. You can text me anytime you want about the baby. If it's about me and you, I'm not hearing it. There's nothing to talk about. Real shit. I've moved on. If you guys have really been tracking our relationship, it's been on and off. It's been on and off. I'm not doing the on part again. I'm not. I'm not doing the on part again. So I was like, you can text me all the time about the baby, whoop de whoop. And she was like, you know, grow up, whatever. Whatever. She, she's hurt. I get it. She's hurt. Whatever. And then she was like, well, I have baby appointments every week. You want me to update you? I said, yeah. yes, please. Simple. This Simple. was probably, how long ago? It's a long time. I've only gotten two baby updates. God only damn. gotten two. Nine months. Remember I said this. Remember I said this for when we get to the end of this shit. <laughs> oh, they at him. <laughs> These guys are cracking me the fuck up, by the way. Remember I said that when we get to the end. Damn. So, as of recent, um, there's probably like a handful of females I follow on Instagram. Just follow them. I haven't, I haven't hit them up. None of that. I haven't hit them up. None of that shit. So, a girl hits me up randomly and says, "Hey, uh, your ex girlfriend just hit me up." Oh. Nah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? She said, yeah, your ex-girlfriend hit me up and asked if, um, if, uh, if, if, if Cam has tried to reach out or talk to you. And I, I oh, wish I oh, was lying. Oh, 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 hell no. Yeah, she's psychotic. Uh, he, yeah, she, 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 she need, yeah. Um, and I feel bad because now it's like, Cam really stuck with her for the rest of that child's life. I feel bad, actually. Nigga, like, I like, I, I hate feeling trapped. You, you get what I'm saying? I, I would hate feeling trapped, and I feel like Cam is trapped now, and that, that shit. I wish I was lying. I wish I was lying. I would show. I would show, but I'm not trying to get other people involved in, in any of this. It's not. It's not. None of that. 
She hit up six oh, different shit. females that I follow and asked them if I've been in contact with them, if I've tried to link with them. The girls would be like, no, anytime we've ever like spoke, it would maybe be, it was short and it was on some friendly shit, right? She goes ahead, I'm talking these random ass girls. She goes ahead and completely spills our entire fucking business to these random ass people, bro. Damn. To these random ass people. Yeah, no. For what? These niggas never asked. No, y'all thought this was bad. It only gets worse. It only gets worse. Someone I can't said, do nothing shake my head. Her out while she's pregnant. Nigga, she's been she been talking about me for 30 days straight. She's stressing herself out. 30 recent days. Real shit. That's what it sounds like. 30 days straight. She's been stressing herself out. Yep. She's been stressing herself out. But but when I, when I speak up, when I say something, I'm in the wrong, right? When I speak up and say something just because I got a little bit of followers. Let me keep going. She was hitting these girls up, asking them if I've talked to them, blue, 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 telling them my entire situation. She even got to a point where I followed a girl and she literally told the girl that that, that she was going to be a rebound and oh. that he's only using you for certain pleasure. So she cop and blocking that, and that she's the love of my life. She doesn't know why I'm reaching out to these girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nah. Nope. Nope. Cam's nope. hurt. Obviously, bro. I'm tired of the comments, bro. It's not even it's not even about me and her's relationship, bro. It's the baby shit. It's her, it's it's the comment saying I'm a deadbeat. I'm not trying to be a dad. I'm not trying to be this. I'm not trying to be that. And it's not the case, bro. Like, I'm so fucking excited to be a dad. Bro, do y'all see what I do for a living? I help kids. I'm going to say this, and, and don't take this the wrong way. But, and this, this is just from what I'm hearing. Now, you say y'all been on and off. Right, on and off for I don't know how many, three years, something like that. I think that's what I heard. I don't know. But I would have nipped that shit in the bud from Jump Street. She, as soon as she said, Cam, I'm pregnant, to urgent care we go. That shit cut. Cut. Now I know you proud to be a dad, but now you're trapped. Cam, keep your head up. I'm a I'm a really wish you the best though. But this shit is crazy. Kids out for a I living, couldn't do bro. it. I'm ready for this shit, bro. I couldn't do it. I'm ready for this shit, bro. This is what I do for a living, nigga. Uh, let me continue. Let me continue. So there was this one girl that she decided to just get extra deep with. Like, say extra shit too, right? Damn. So, um, I was on her laptop one time. I logged into my email to do something. Totally forgot to log out. Um, so, I found out that she's been illegally accessing my email to, to keep wow. up with what I'm doing. For what? about 20 days. Damn. Right? <laughs> Just peek at my email. Oh, and you know what's shit. crazy? I have literally the screenshot. Oh, shit. I went to my email. I clicked shared accounts, shared access. Uh -huh. It says her location, MacBook OS, last logged in 14 hours ago. Cooked. Cooked. Mm -mm. Yup. Right? Remember the part where I said... There was a part I told you guys to remember. Anyways, we'll keep going. So I was in London. I was in London for the first time. I was with Ray, Wagyu, Caleb. Y'all all remember. Yeah. I was in London. I've been posting about it. Whoop de woo. On TikTok. The yeah. Baby checkups. Exactly. Baby checkups. Remember this shit. Remember all this shit. So I was in London, you know, and me and them for my birthday, we were gonna go to the club. We were going to go to the club. It was a little club called Tape out in the UK. I signed up for the club, got an email, whoop de woo I was supposed to show up for a certain time. I found out, you niggas aren't going to believe this, but this is real. What the fuck happened, bro? I found out that she was accessing my email. She found out I was going to go to a club in London. 
She called the goddamn club, oh. told them to upcharge me on bottles. What? And to put ugly bitches in my section. Oh, hell no. Oh, 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 oh. I thought he was going to say she was on his computer transferring money to some type of I thought I thought it was like that. But this shit is worse too. Nigga upcharge him on bottles and put ugly Yeah. Uh Cam Cam's black, right? I think he's black. He says nigga a lot, so he gotta be black. So if this was like fully black, like like my skin, none of this shit was happening. We was like, cause we guys, you get what I'm saying? We we don't we don't fight females. I told y'all, I would have been I would have been stopped all this shit from happening. Cause I don't I don't like all that drama shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, uh, yeah, what what uh Marie asked for me real quick. I'll pay you thousand. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like she a hitman or something. You get what I'm saying? Ugly bitches! Something. I, bro, I can't make this up, bro. I can't. She told one of the girls this and, and, and thought I wasn't gonna find that out. You told that nigga to put ugly hoes in my section, bro. You telling me we didn't even go to the club. We never went. So you're telling me if I walked up in that bitch, I go to my. He would have been cooked. He would have been cooked. A bunch of Beetlejuices and Lizzos. <laughs> I'd have been like, "What the fuck? What's going on?" Oh, we got a call saying that you get what I'm saying. We wanted you wanted some ugly bitches in your set. This shit crazy, my nigga. Like, what's up? I'm hot. I'm like, what, what's up? You know how next level stalkerish that is, bro. Yeah, that's. What is that? Yeah. That is the result of too much goddamn time on your hands. That's the result of you really don't want to... Bro, she even said she was trying to cock block me from talking to other girls. Yep. What's up? I can't move on? You know you know this goddamn little ball we on keeps spinning, right? It do. I swear to God, it don't stop for nobody. I promise it don't. It keeps going. Nigga, I'm trying to move on it with my life. I got too much shit going on, bro. Way too much. It's crazy. I get a call that there's goddamn ugly hoes trying to get in my section at the club in London. Man. <laughs> Man, I couldn't believe that shit, bro. I couldn't believe that shit, bro. What would y'all do, bro? Like, literally, what would y'all do in this situation? Please comment down below what the fuck y'all gonna do in this situation. I said what I was gonna do. You get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm nipping that shit. Damn, like it, it's it's you feel me? It's no being a bigger man when you trying to ruin my life. It's no being a bigger man. I'm sorry. It's just you mean like I I can't. When I got shit going on, bro, it's not funny, bro. But it's like what the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god, and I'm not done yet. Oh, and I'm not done yet. Oh. This is where shit gets serious. This is where shit gets serious. I received Bitch, an email put the comments down. Put it away. A couple days ago. From this person. You had and to, what are you doing? This pissed me off so bad. This pissed me off so bad. Listen to this email. Oh, no. I hope you're doing well. As the time for the birth of our baby approaches, I want to share my feelings about your presence during this significant moment. Remember how I told you guys to remember about the uh, the uh, the baby checkups. Remember when I told you guys to remember that shit? How I told her keep keep uh you know what I'm saying updating me on them checkups. Remember when I said this right? Remember when I said this right? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. This past month, I felt a lack of interest and support from you regarding both me and the baby. Mm. This has led me to the decision that I do not want you to be at the hospital when I give birth. Oh, oh, hell no. Cam, I please tell me not going to let this happen. Please. If you let this happen, I'm going to punch you in the throat. I'm going to punch you in the throat. Cam, please tell me. He look hurt, but please tell me you're not going to let that happen, bro. Because this what the fuck's going to happen 
if you don't show up at that hospital. She's going to use that against you. May, let's say the child in the teenage years, right? She's going to use that against you and going to say, your father wasn't even there when you were born. Cam, go to the hospital. Even if you got to be in the fucking lobby, my nigga, in, in the waiting lounge, you get what I'm saying? Be there, bro. There's, there's, you, it's, it's legal to be, like, you get what I'm saying? You're the father, my nigga. There's no way she's going to say, I don't want him here. Uh, no, fuck all that. That's my son. <laughs> That's my son. Come on. Come on, bro. Nah, man up. Say, are you fucking crazy? Lost your, you, yeah, you done lost your rabbit ass mind. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, I don't think y'all understand how much that hurt me, bro. Bro, she trying to get child support, bro. Me, bro. She trying, look, she trying to make it seem like you not going to be in that child's life. So she going to take your ass to court. And get the money that you making off YouTube. She probably don't got no damn job. If she, if she on live asking for bread, bro. As a grown woman, she's not going to be on live exposing shit, texting females and shit. If she was a grown woman, she going to be at home doing whatever she got to do. Maybe going to work, maternity leave, whatever it's called. You get what I'm saying? It look like she's still a child and not mature enough. So she just going, you, you mean? She's broke. So that that's what she's gonna do, bro. Lock in, Cam. I cried that night. I swear to God. I wasn't gonna cry. Cried that night. Nah, Swiss cheese her ass. That's crazy. So be. It's like. Let me continue before I finish. She wants a calm and supportive environment, and my absence is necessary for that to happen. I hope you respect my wishes. I've come to terms with the reality of our situation. <laughs> I want to be clear that I am fully committed to raising our baby on my own. Oh, oh, what? You're broke. There is, see, that's what the fuck, I just said what I just said. I just said what I just said. Y'all know, she just said she wanted to raise the baby on her own. But she's broke. So how is she going to do that? She's going to get money from Cam, but still raise the baby on her own. Y'all get what I'm saying, bro? Y'all not, is he not locked in? Is he not seeing what, what she putting down? Come on, bro. That's, that's a damn bro. Y'all, damn, bro. That's crazy. What the fuck? ESPN. I'm going to go ahead and set the I'm going to go ahead and set it straight right now. She is quite clearly using the baby as leverage. Yep. It, it's evident. She's using the baby against me. Mm -hmm. She's using the baby against me. And yep. it sucks. It really does suck. That's what I'm saying. It's like I can't even do nothing <sighs> about it. Yep. But I will tell you one thing. She cannot, and I mean cannot, tell me whether I can or cannot be a fucking dad. That's what the fuck I'm you talking are, about, Cam. You are the carrier. I'm the father, nigga. You can't tell me whether I want to be a dad or not. Yep. Trust me when I say this. I will be in my child's life. Yep. I will be a great dad. Damn. I will be in my child's life. There's no if, ands, or buts about it, nigga. Are you serious? Are you serious? She lost her mind, bro. That's crazy. You thought I wasn't going to be a daddy? Bro, I got to get this nigga ready for the 40-yard dash. <laughs> this nigga putting up three-point shots off rip, nigga. And you going to tell me, talking about some committed to raising our baby on her own? You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up, nigga. Mm -hmm. There we go. Have some balls. You gonna steer me away from them, them videos where I'm doing film sessions with my nigga? Nigga, Project Harden on the way, nigga. Project Harden on the way, nigga. I'm playing straight Houston Rockets James Harden clips. Out the womb, nigga. Out the womb. 
How are you going to do that? You're not going to be there. You just said. And by the way, she tried to say that uh, she was going to change the baby's name. Let me go ahead and tell you guys what the baby's name is. Our baby's name is King Wilder. That's hard. His name is King. That's hard. That's his name. His name is King. That's hard. And she's trying to change the name. Oh, yeah, nah. She's just trying to take you out of the life, bro. You can't can't let that happen, That bro. shit better not happen. No, ooh, 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 ooh. But if that do happen, yo, Cam gonna flip out. I, I ain't gonna lie. If she changed the child's name, God forbid that she do because it, it seemed like she be drawing and, and doing too much bullshit. I feel like she going to do that shit regardless. So I'm not going to lie. This is what I'm thinking. She don't want you at the hospital because at the hospital, that's that's where you put the name at. She going to say, what's the child's name? You not being there means you don't have a say in shit, my nigga. Be there, bro. Be there. Be there. You get what I'm saying? Like, is is. Come on, bro. Be there, bro. Real shit. Baby King. My son. Baby King. That's just crazy. All the clothes that were that she took, all the baby clothes all that she took, all have like King on the back. Like custom. All the clothes is custom. And you gonna change the nigga name, bro? That's crazy. I got Cam exposing the screenshots and everything, bro. Look, man. This is all I'm gonna say. Right? Obviously, I was baited. Obviously, I was baited to react. Mm -hmm. 30 days straight of calling me out my name, saying this, this, and the third. She obviously wanted a reaction. She obviously wanted a reaction. And she got it out of me. She got it out of me. I haven't said no shit like this since um we broke up last time since we broke up last time her fucking friend trying to call me out her name and i fucking talked crazy about her i don't know if you, anyone remembers that shit that's what i'm saying bro um but listen i will be a dad can't nobody tell me especially if that's my goddamn kid you can't tell me i'm not gonna be no dad that's what i'm saying can't tell me that. I'm going to be lost, a dad. She lost her mind. Whether or not she wants me at the hospital, listen, if she, if, if her being peaceful and the delivery of the baby being successful, if that means I'm not there to not stress her out, I won't be there. No. At no. 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 How the fuck she going to feel stressed out when you not there? That don't even make no motherfucking sense. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen, listen close, because I know my mic is close. Cam Wilder, listen to me, bro. Listen to me. Be in the waiting lounge. No one has to know that you're there. It wouldn't make any motherfucking sense. She won't, bro. Just she won't know, bro. Just just go. Just go. Argue with her if you got to, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. She gonna try and change that child's name. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, shit. I accidentally muted it. I won't be there. Come on, she bro. wants a calming environment. She doesn't want... You know what I'm saying? She doesn't... <sighs> Baby mamas, bro. That shit. She wants a calm environment. She doesn't want any stress, none of that shit. This is crazy. I won't be at the hospital. This is crazy. But you're not going to tell me I ain't going to be no goddamn dad. You're not going to tell me I'm not going to be no goddamn dad. So, listen, y'all. I'm excited to be a dad. I'm, I'm just tired of somebody consistently having too much time on their hands and having, and literally doing nothing but talking about me. Shut, like, bro, move on, my nigga. Move on. Stop talking about me. You have nothing to do but talk about me, bro. That's all you do is talk about me. Stop talking about me and move on, gang. Come on, bro. Damn. Does she have a job? No. Oh. 
I ain't even go get into the. And I bet you're going to send her that. bread too, Cam. Because you're going to feel sorry for yourself, bro. Real shit. <laughs> I ain't shit. even going to get into that. I ain't even going to get into that. Just listen, bro. My message, stop talking about me. I'm trying to move on with my fucking life. And every day I keep getting DMs calling me a deadbeat. I'm fucked up. I'm this, I'm that. Ladies and gentlemen, stop feeding into this money scheme. And she posts on her registry trying to get shit. Bro, if you literally click at the registry and scroll all the way down, it shows how much shit was bought. Damn. Talking about she has nothing. Nigga, look at the fucking baby shower, bro. Look how much shit is bought. She used you, bro. She backed that ass up on you and she, and she got pregnant, bro. You see that Cuban around your neck? She said, oh, yeah. Tuh. As soon as you got the leg tat, she was on that. She backed that ass up. She said, oh, yeah, we on that. You pipe that shit. No bond them. No, no, no bond them. No, no magnum. None of that. That is on you. I'm not, not the condom part, but, but nigga, pull out. You mean? Come on, bro. Like. It's just real shit, bro. Like, behind us, bro. This is crazy. Man, that's a lot of Look shit. Look how much shit's behind us. This is crazy. But you have nothing and you're begging people for bread? Listen, bro. You got the attention you wanted. This is what you wanted. I waited 30 days for this. You know how long I've been waiting to go live? I was trying to be the bigger person. I didn't want my personal life on the internet anyways. You can't. But you went ahead and talked about it. You can't. But not only did you talk about the kid, you talked about me. We've had enough. So I spoke. I spoke, nigga. And I think he got Straight more like too, but he ain't trying to expose that shit. Stop talking about me. I'm trying to move on with my life. I'm going to move on with my life with the kid in my life. Mm -hmm. You won't. No, not with you. I'm, I've moved on. I, I'm not. I'm not. The kid will be in my life, though, by the way. So don't think they won't. That's all I got to say, y'all. That's all I got to say. It's a sucky situation on how it all went down. But... <laughs> can't be at the hospital. Raise the baby on my own. She has no job, though. Using the baby as leverage is top-tier fucked-up shit. She can't. She has no money. What are you talking about? Some fucked-up shit, man. Go to court. You bro. got the attention you wanted, so. I'm going to There you go. Court. I don't want to give no fucks. Man, I'm out of here, y'all. That's it? All right. Okay. <laughs> we got through the video. Now, let me give you my final thoughts on what Cam just said. Um, I still think he should still go to the hospital, bro. Regardless, bro. Regardless. Um, I would have told her motherfucking ass, let's go band for band for that child. She would have lost. You get what I'm saying? Um, what else? It, this is crazy, Marie. I ain't gonna lie. Do you... Yeah, bro. Seek help. And I feel bad for the child because he got a shit mom. That's ass, bro. If I was Cam out the womb, I'm whispering to my child ear. Yo, your mom weird as shit. I ain't gonna lie. That, that's just me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be like, yo, you don't know what your mom... Did to me like before you was born. Like that shit was crazy. Like she she was cop blocking and all that. And then she called the club. Yo, I'm on that. Tuh. I'm exposing shit. There's no being the bigger man. Sorry. Tuh. That shit did. But Cam, we still support you, man. Keep keep doing what you gotta do. Keep doing what you gotta do. From another uh black man to another black man. Uh keep doing the RWE shit. I think you should change it to C W E Elite. Because, you know what I'm saying, Raw Wave is not you. You get what I'm saying? Which is, everybody know, like, RWE. But, 
just switch it to CWE, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, just just some cool little shit. But keep doing what you gotta do, man. Uh, hope it all works out. Um, I know she crazy, but I I can't even say nothing else. I I just know she crazy, nigga. Like, you get what I'm saying? Um, like, comment, subscribe. We on the road to a thousand. I'm trying to get monetized. I need to get monetized. Um, I'm gonna catch y'all.